loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Katya. For today's video, it's been a little while since I did a DIY for you guys, so today's video is going to be a DIY, finally. I was out and about one day shopping at Michael's and I was going through the aisles and trying to get inspired of what I can do next. And then I fell on these sort of plaster rolls. I would say they're the same consistency as when you get a cast, when you break your arm or break your leg. And I thought to myself, I'm like, there are so many cool things you can do with this. So I grabbed a whole bunch of rolls and then my whole creative process started. I came up with two DIYs for you. For my first DIY, I wanted to create some accent pieces. Like I mentioned, I am redoing my whole beauty slash closet room and I needed some accent pieces for my decor not decor it's decor I have been corrected so many times about how I say decor I don't know if it's a Montreal thing but a lot of the people I know say decor so I think it's just a question of how you know how we say certain words but anyway a lot of people have been correcting me so it's decor I needed some sort of accent pieces in one of my corner in the closet room and I thought doing some sort of vessel or vase of some sort would be really cool in that area. So I created these really cool egg shaped vessels if you want to call them and what I loved is that I wanted them to look sort of raw and worn and also that they were just perfect but imperfect. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. I just wanted them to look wonky. I love that sort of look. I could not be happier of how they end up turning out. I think they're exactly what I was envisioning. So I used some plaster, I used balloons, then I used some sky towels, tissue paper, and a little bit of paint. But it was a pretty easy DIY. The only thing I would say is that it was a pretty messy one. Yeah, just put a lot of garbage bags or, I don't know, cover up whatever it is that you don't want to get ruined because it does get pretty messy but aside that it's a pretty easy DIY moving on to my second DIY I end up wanting to create some wall art to put in that room as well and so what I end up doing with my DIY is I went a little bit more mid-century retro I end up finding some tissue paper and different textured paper in one of the art stores that I go to and I thought I would just create dimension and texture using plaster, tissue paper, random paper, and some Mod Podge. Voila, my masterpiece was created and I am again happy of how it turned out. But before we get into the whole DIY part, I wanted to say a big thank you to Mummy Silk for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't know who Mummy Silk is, they are a company that sells pure grade 6A mulberry silk home and casual wear without the harsh chemicals. They sell pillowcases, beddings, pajamas, eye masks, and so many different beautiful silk accessories. They work with Southern California Goodwill Group to help donate clothing to people in need. I got a few pieces from them recently and I thought I would share them with you. I'm gonna start off with my first piece and it is this beautiful blouse, but it is actually not a blouse. It is a two-piece pajama set. It's called the Classic Silk Pajamas and I got it in this beautiful navy blue color and I think it just looks rich. The texture, the feel of it is just so soft. I am so super comfortable in it. Um, I'm wearing it like this. I put it with a pair of jeans. I also want to show you that you don't just need to wear it as a pajama. You can totally go outside, you can wear it just a blouse, or you can wear them together and totally rock this look, not only as pajamas. So you get like double, actually three times the wear. So it's definitely worth every single penny. You get three things. You get a pajama, you get a blouse, and then you get a whole two-piece set. The fit is perfect. It's not too big, not too small. It's true to the size. So for my next piece, I got this 22 Mummy vintage ruffled headband, and it is so cute. Cute. I got it in this pale blue and I just think it is so Cinderella like and I just love it you can either wear it as a statement piece or sometimes I actually just wear it as when I'm doing my makeup just to put my hair back it's super soft on the hair so there is no breakage what I also got with the two set pajama and I have sensitive skin I break out if I put anything on my face if you are suffering from the whole mask me thing you totally get where I'm coming from so I end up getting one of their little masks to do a whole outfit so when I'm wearing my pajama I am 
well, if I'm wearing my pajama out and about, I can totally rock the matching face mask and it's soft on the skin. So if you have really sensitive skin, it's hypoallergic. For my two final pieces, I end up getting the 100% Mulberry Silk 22 Mummy pillowcase and also the eye mask. They are the matching set. They're just the perfect combination of silk and thickness and durability. The eye mask comes in this cute little pouch here and then here's the mask when you're sleeping it feels like you're not really wearing anything it's perfect for blacking out the eyes which we love i took it in this beautiful champagne color it's so soft the benefits of these silk pillowcases and everything that's made out of the mulberry silk first of all it reduces hair breakage so that is great if you have long hair and you just don't obviously want to break your hair so for the skin it reduces the friction on the pillows of you rubbing against the pillowcases or even you know when your face is really crinkled on cotton pillowcases it creates those lines so we don't want any wrinkles no wrinkles we are trying to avoid that it enhances your sleep by regulating your temperature at all times during the night so if you are interested go check out their website they are super sweet offering you guys a discount code so i will leave all their information down below without further ado we're going to jump right into this video enjoy <music>
it. I hope you enjoyed these two DIYs. Comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for all your beautiful messages, comments, thumbs up. It means the world to me. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.